Well, recently we went on a camping trip and we had problems with our leveling system. You know, I disconnected the truck like normal and everything. And then when I went to hit the auto level, then I received an error that I had never received before. And it said error LR jack. Uh, so that means left rear jack. And what happened is when I hit the outer level, you know, the front end, how it normally happens, it goes up a little bit, down a little bit. And then when I went to uh, extend the rear jacks, that's when I got the error. I couldn't go through any of the menu selections here, like you can here, you know, you can do battery and all that stuff. Uh, it just kept repeating the error and said to retract all the jacks. And so I did that and nothing would work. You know, even the remote wouldn't work. And the only thing that I could get the thing to do is it seemed like it was stuck into a special manual mode where I could raise and lower the jacks. Well, the left rear jack was inoperative. I mean, it wouldn't go up or down or anything. And luckily I do carry my LCI, which is an app that's available for either an iPhone or Android phone. And if you don't have it, I highly recommend getting it because it has everything you need to know about any Lippert systems. I mean, there's service, there's troubleshooting, there's videos. You know, you can contact them. You can even, in certain cases, uh, do a chat with them with your app. Now, of course, the app needs to have, you know, an internet connection or a 3G or 4G connection or whatever. You know, so there is that. Luckily, I was able to get a good signal, and so I brought up this LCI app to try to figure out what was going on. So in the manual, I found the page that described the error that I was having, and it's called a special jack error code. And you'll see LCD message error, and then LR jack. And it said, uh, you know, the error at the specific jack, malfunction or loss of communication, so on and check harness connections at controller and jack, check harness for damage, check fuses and repair or replace as necessary. Oh goody. Check the fuse, fuse okay. Then when I check the wiring, this is the uh, main console and so when I started looking at the wires, um, I noticed this rod wire right here is poking out. I don't know if you can see it, but let me, uh, let me disconnect it for you. This is the main power cable to that particular jack, and I noticed some silver showing there. And that means that this connector is not pushed all the way in. So that's what was happening. This connector wasn't making contact. And if I pull it out, um, see it won't stay. And they're supposed to lock in there. And by the way, when you start messing with connectors and start taking things apart and stuff, well, I highly recommend using a camera to do your documentation. Luckily though, I was able to push the wire back into the connector and it would stay without, you know, falling out. So I at least was able to get the thing remedied and get me back home. And truth is, this probably was that way ever since the thing was new and I had this thing for about a year and a half. Even though I could get the jack to go up and down now, I still had to figure out how to get the error cleared because the error just would not clear. So I called Lipper at customer service and I got the number from the My LCI app. And so they told me you have to do a rehoming procedure. And what the rehoming procedure is, is you got to run all the jacks down at least six inches and then raise them all up. And if they do that, then basically what it does, it wants to know where each jack is at the end of travel. And the only way to do that is to lower all the jacks and then raise them all up. So what I had to do is, since I use these blocks, these are about three inches, or they were at the time. So I had to hook it back up to the truck, remove the blocks, raise these up, and I just left it hooked to the truck. Raise these up, lowered everything all the way down, front and back, and then hit the retract button there and hold it. And you hold that retract button down until all the jacks raise and stop. And when you do that, then the home procedure should be complete. You should be able to turn it off and back on and clear the air. So when I checked with Lippert, all they have is the rear jack harness here. You can't buy just the connector. And the harness itself is like $190. Well, I didn't want to spend $190 
or I didn't want to have to take apart the whole RV and replace the entire cable harness just because of that one end. And typically, from my experience, these kind of connectors come in multiple parts. They have the housing, they have the plug, and then they have the connectors, all which are available separately. And I was able to find a part number on the housing, and I looked up Mauser Electronics, and sure enough, here it is. I was able to find the exact housing, dollar twenty-one. So I bought several of them, and uh, sure enough, they're the exact housing that I needed. So I'm going to remove this, try to put the new one on. And you want to match everything up so that you don't get them backwards. So this wire has to go in here, like that. See, this one is nice and secure. I'm probably going to have to tear this apart to get that black wire out. And so there we go. I got the black wire in, the new connector, and it's all good. So all I got to do is plug that back into the uh, console. And here is an example of the procedure for the homing of the jacks. Now this actually came out of the installation manual. And so you can disregard this first one because this is when, you know, the thing is new. But if you see here, to introduce an error, disconnect one of the Hall Effects Center wires from the controller and then attempt to operate the disconnected jack. Well, that's what happened when I had the error. I mean, I didn't have to introduce the error. The error was already there because the, the you know, wire was disconnected. And then it just simply says that you must uh, lower the jacks after, of course, in my case, I fixed the problem, a minimum of six inches, and then uh, essentially it just tells you what I did. I just pushed the uh, retract button uh, so that the all four jacks went up, and then when they stopped, everything was working.